Hi, welcome to part 15 of my videos on Zinc Ultra SK Plus and Petal Linux. In this video, we continue with the Petal Linux build process. In previous video, we built the SDK and now we go to our uh, build folder. Here is the um, Petal Linux build SDK command. It's executed. It, it, it can take a long time, um, up to maybe two, three hours. And then the output of this can be seen inside the images slash Linux folder. So the output of this process is basically this SDK.sh and this guy is around two gigabytes and you can ex run this executable to basically extract its content. The content would be the compiler and the libraries that you need with Qt Creator to build your Qt applications for the ZSU-104 target. If you look at our root file system, the root file system that uh, our Petal Linux will have, it's compressed something near 100 megabytes. Previously, what I, we have been doing, we have we had the image.ub file and the image.ub was containing also the root file system. This is the default behavior of Petal Linux. Now, what I want to do is I want to have a separate partition on the SD card for my root file system. So what you need to do to achieve this is to run the Petal Linux config. Inside Petal Linux config, inside image pack caging configuration, then you have the first option root file system type. And when you typically build the Petal Linux, this root file system type is this one, is init RD. And you need to change this to exe4 basically we don't want our root file system to be the one on inside the image.ub we want to have it separately on the sd card so i have changed this to exe4 and then double check the path for the root file system it should be a correct path and our sd card would have two partitions and our root file system would locate on the second partition and now i save this configuration and I build Petal Linux again. Our Petal Linux build is complete. So the next step would be to create the boot.bin file. We are already inside images Linux folder. I want to create this guy. I should include the PMU firmware. Trusted firmware will be included automatically. Then I should include the U-boot. Then I should include the Zinc FSPL. So this is my command. Petal Linux package minus minus boot minus minus U boot minus minus FSPL FPGA PMU firmware and then force. Okay, so we have created this boot.bin file now. It's something near 20 megabytes. Then we have this image.ub file, and as you see, image.ub is very small this time. And that's because the image.ub doesn't contain the root file system anymore. The root file system would be now in the second partition so i want to prepare my sd card to put these files on the sd card so my sd card is now inside my notebook i make sure that all of the content of the sd card is completely clear so this is a 16 gigabyte sd card i will write entirely zeros to entire 16 gigabyte of my SD card. Block size one gigabyte, count 16. And I don't forget to put sudo. So I reset and clean up the SD card completely. So zeros are written completely to the SD card. And now I can partition the SD card. I bring out the SD card, put it back, and then I run CF disk. CF disk, dev, MMC, P block zero. Important point is I need to run it as root. Partition type is DOS. And then I have basically 14.9 gigabyte to partition I create two partitions first one only one gigabyte primary bootable 
type fat, which is type B. Second, 13.9 gigabytes. Primary type is Linux because we want to have ext4 file system on this partition okay we write our changes SD card is ready I bring it out put it back this time we have two partitions first partition should be vfat Second partition should be ext4. My SD card is completely ready. Boot.bin, go to the first partition. So I copied this one. And also I need to copy this one. This guy is basically telling you about how to boot the Peta Linux. The image that you be is very small. I keep this also on the first partition. The root file system is not here. Root file system is compressed something near 100 megabytes. It's on the second partition. But we still need this file because the Linux kernel is here. So I'm going to copy this file to the first partition. The contents of the first partition are these three files. So now I have this file and I want to untar the contents of this file into the second partition of the SD card. This is the command. And this the pass you see here is basically the second portion of SD card. So this is the mounted second portion of SD card. I untar all of the content here. Now again I look at the second portion of SD card is this guy. We have the complete file system here. Now if I go to user lib also, I can find the files related to Qt. This is user lib folder. All of the dynamically linkable libraries, they are all here. And you can find, for example, the files related to X, X server. You can find files related to Qt. So this is our SD card is ready. I can put it on ZCU 104 and test it and see if it comes up or it doesn't come up. 